Before we get started in the video, I'm happy to announce that I've created another YouTube channel that will be focusing more on devlog and behind the scenes material. So if you're interested in that, then please make sure to head over there when you're done watching this video. You can find a link to that new channel in the description below this video or by clicking the pop out in the top right corner. I've already uploaded my first video to the channel and it's a video about how I managed to make $80,000 by doing game development as a hobby. So if you want to get notified whenever I upload new videos, you should also make sure to click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon over there. I would also like to say thanks to my patrons because I wouldn't be able to do any of this if it wasn't for you, so thank you so much for all your support. I would also like to say thanks to Richter for his tier 4 sub this month and special thanks to James Bond for his tier 5 sub this month. So with all that out of the way, let's get going with the video. In the last video we added a sword swing animation and in this one we're going to make his shoot animation and we are also going to make sure that we can press the keys on the keyboard to swap between the animations so that whenever we go to a gun or go to a sword, sword um, the animation for attacking will fit that one. Right now he's just um, punching with his gun, it might be efficient in some ways but uh, we would really like him to aim with the gun and then shoot with it when we press the attack button and, and that one is equipped and the same goes with the sword, right? We want him to attack with the sword. We already have the animation in here where we can change the weapon, um, the value here um, by hand, but we would like to do that from our script. Let's go to our any state animator right here. And inside that animator, we already have something called like try play animation and we have some, some different things that can uh, be used to swap weapon. Um, but what we would like to do is to set that value um, right now we want to set the value for the weapon here from the script and to do that we can go anywhere in the script here and make a method called set weapon and it's going to take in a float called weapon and this float is going to set the value in the inspector so let's do that so we say animator dot set float we're going to use the weapon as an identifier and then we are going to use the weapon variable as the key and this means that this method here will be able to set the value on this weapon here so where are we going to call this um, this method here and that's a good question because we can do that different in different places but I would like to do it from my try swap weapon inside the play player actions so let's see if I if I have player actions and there is a swap weapon and we have try swap weapon here and that means i would like to say player dot components dot animator dot set weapon the method we just created and i want to set the player dot stats dot weapon here and then i need to cast this into a float i guess or an integer so let's just round it so we have an integer um, so this will now try swap weapon is already called when we press the buttons, but now it will actually also set the value. So we don't have a gun animation yet, um, but we do have a sword swing animation. So let's see if we can actually see if this works. So we're walking around. She, uh, control will make him punch if I press two, three. He's using the sword swing animation now. If I select the player. In the rig you'll see that this value is now two and if i press one it's one so one should be the gun right and but that's coming later and then if i press one it goes to the punch two it goes to the gun and three it goes to the sword so we need to put something in here to replace the gun swing animation here so let's create that now we have the functionality to swap between them now we need to create the animation and we can do that by selecting the rig going to animation Going down here and create a new clip and go to our animations. Let's see here, um, assets and animations and body, and we can call this one um, body underscore gun underscore attack. Could also just call it shoot, but let's call it as we did with the other thing. So gun attack, and then we need to open up our scene and find the fox here. So how do we attack with the gun? Um, we can do it in different ways, but for now, let's, let's take, select the rig here and make sure our gizmos are on. So I want him to put his hand forward kind of and straighten it up. And actually, let's just 
press record before we do all this because if we don't do that it's not going to work so press the record button and straighten his arms like somewhat there i think straighten out this arm let's see i just want to zoom in to see that looks how it looks it looks okay i can move up this one ah not that one this one maybe a bit like so um and again this is something you can switch if you want to um and then we have this arm here it needs to go up like so so he's holding like both arms on the gun maybe i can move this down a teeny tiny bit so that we can see we have two arms um actually i think i want to make this one a bit lower than the other maybe so i can see i'm holding with both arms up there um and that's the first step right he's starting to aim putting his arms like forward with the gun and then i want to move to where about six so we need to zoom in a bit so here we can do like this so zero six or actually let's go a bit further out let's go to 10 something yeah and oops now i deselected it so i want him to have some kind of recoil when he shoots right so he needs to put down his arms somehow so let's like his arm first this needs to go down about here and then the rest of the arm needs to go upwards kind of like that and then the other one this one also needs to do the same maybe i can disable this one for now so i can see the other shoulder it's right there so this one should also follow the other arm kind of let's see if we can manage to do that somehow like that a bit further up there and then i'm going to enable this again and actually i am going to delete the enabling and the disabling over here so let's see here how this looks so he has it here so i'm not happy about the right arm though because it's uh, below it first and then it's above it here so I would actually go and disable that one and select oops nope let's see which one is this this is this arm okay so i'm going to disable this one so it's easy to grab the other and i'd like to just move it down so it's below the other one as it was before i think this looks a bit better maybe also move it a bit more back yeah i'm, I'm pretty happy with with that though um, and then I'm going to enable this again and remove the enabling and disabling node here. And then we take the whole thing from the start here and put it at where is 20 or something. Where is 20? There. And that's it. So now we have a shoot animation, I think. We stop recording and we run over this. Like he takes his arm up and he shoots like that. So he aims, shoots, and there we go. Um, we, of course, also need to put the gun in the right place of course um so let's try to do that as well um the shoot animation of course needs to be put into the animator and this is also body gun so we also need to say create new clip and go to animations and say legs and call one called legs underscore um, gun underscore attack and basically they're just going to be standing like this nothing different from that so we can actually take legs idle and take the beginning here go to legs um gun attack and paste it there and that's it because the legs are not going to do anything when we shoot we have a shooting stance we just keep it there then we are going to open up our animator and select the blend tree and add an extra motion field put the motion field in between the punch and the sword and make sure that we have our um what is this this is body body gun attack and then we do the same for our legs let's select the layer and take the legs open up attack and add that extra little motion field here put it in the middle and select legs gun attack there we go so the threshold for punch is one gun is one, uh, sorry punch is zero gun is one and sword attack is two so with that done we can go here we can punch if i press two 
he's shooting. You can see there is a, a loop, so it looks kind of funny. So let's go to our animations and select our legs first and take the um, gun and remove loop time. And the same goes for our, um, what's called our body. So let's go to body and find our gun and remove loop time. And of course, we also need to somehow uh, disable it. So with the body gun attack, we go all the way out here and we make sure that the rig is selected. Sorry, we select the rig first and then we go to body gun attack. Uh, not like, sorry, body gun attack here. Right click add animation uh, event, click there on animation done and what was called body underscore attack. There we go. Go to our legs gun attack. So let's go all the way as much as we can. I guess what the same as we did on the other one. So let's say 20 at animation event on animation done legs underscore attack. There we go. Okay. So we have a trigger out there and we have everything under control here. So let's try again. So if I press two, he shoots once. Go. Don't worry, we're going to fix that that uh, that thing here. Um, and press three. He's going to punch with the sword, as you can see. And there we go. So now we can swap between the different weapons. One thing I don't like is the fact that the hand here it looks weird because it's like the gun is over the hand. So we need to fix that. And if you re-download the sprites, there will be some new sprites that you can use for this. Hey, I'm just going to bring them into this um, this project. Just give me a moment. So I have imported handgun and hand sword, and these are found in the sprite package as well now. So you can just re-download that to kill it. And then we are going to go to my arms here. I'm going to replace um, the sword with hand sword, and I'm going to replace the gun with handgun. And let's see how it looks now. I guess they need to be replaced so they fit in the right positions. <laughs> okay, so first of all, we need to select them and make sure the pixels per unit are set to 300. Let's try again. So, you see now he's holding a sword with a hand on. So let's just fix this fast. So we enable the sword and we take and disable the gizmos for a bit. Um, then I am going to select the sword here. I'm going to move it all the way down to the right position so that it just covers the original hand kind of going to rotate it a bit as well so that it fits with the original hand here a bit more rotating there we go so i think that is okay i will not be able to see the difference i think so we can disable that one then I'm going to enable the gun and move it so that also covers his original hand here. Go kind of there. I think that's okay. I think I don't think you'll be able to. So then we can select this and then take the alphabet down maybe. If we do that then it's easier to see. So we have those three fingers there. It needs to be rotated a bit though. Make it easier to fit, something like that. Yeah, I am pretty happy with that, so I'm going to set the alpha up again. There we go. So we're going to disable the gun. So let's try to see how it looks now. So the gun is in the hand, looks fine. Sword is in the hand here, and I am able to attack with them like that. So the reason it looks weird with the gun. Uh, it's because we don't have a what's called um, gun idle animation. That's something we have. Uh, we, we are going to have later. So his hands are actually going to be held out when he's idling with the gun. But that's uh, for another video. So the gun will be pointed in the right direction when he shoots. So the main point of this video is to be able to swap between we weapons. And by swapping between the weapons, we will also swap the animation that we're using. So the fact is, there's a few things we need to fix later. Um, I'm not happy with the fact that the sword here is blocking the nose, but that's because we don't have a idle animation for the sword correctly. So we hold, hold it a bit higher up. So don't worry, that will be fixed later because it looks <laughs> kind of stupid that it's blocking him. And the same goes for the gun, right? It 
jumps up and down. It will not jump up and down shooting through the air when we have the right angle animation. Anyway, that is actually what I want to do in this video. I want to make sure that we can swap between weapons and we could um, have the correct animation when um, attacking with them after swapping. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.